Do images like this enrage you? Drug dealers posting ad after ad for their illicit drugs or counterfeit pills on social media openly with no concern for getting caught. The worst that happens is they maybe get their account revoked, but then they open up a new one the next day. Well, it makes a lot of people mad, including Congress. They've just introduced the Cooper Davis Act, named after Cooper Davis, who was a young man in Kansas who got fake pills from a drug dealer on Snapchat and did not survive that encounter. The legislation that's been introduced has been led by a bipartisan team of Senator Roger Marshall from Kansas, where Cooper Davis is from, and by Senator Gene Shaheen from New Hampshire. And it's got a bipartisan group of co-sponsors, and what it does is it requires the social media platforms to report online drug selling the same way they're obligated to report online occurrences of child and sexual abuse material. It's actually a pretty cool bill, and it was introduced last year with this number, and it's just been reintroduced in the last couple days with a brand new number in the 118th Congress. And I think you should take a look at it. If you're a family who has lost a family member to a, one of these murderous drug dealers on social media, we have a special letter that you can write, and we would love you to sign on to it with other families just like yours. And if you're not uh, someone who's lost someone from a social media drug dealer, you're absolutely welcome to also use our website to send a note of support to the senators backing this bill. We hope you'll take a moment to do that. Thank you.